Hello children, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing good. Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. As I had told you, I have come again with a brand new poem for you. This is your own loving Dr. Poonimaji Ma'am, President Gnana Sudha Education Society be there, bringing you your lessons. Chalo, we are going to read a lesson today. I mean, it's not a lesson actually, it's a poem, right? From your English uh, part of your second semester textbook, right? Take your second semester textbook and we are going to read this poem. The name of the poem is The Elephant. Okay, come to page number four of second semester book. Okay, the, um, I mean, lesson number nine, the elephant. The elephant is big, the elephant is gray, the elephant walks for miles each day. Okay, the elephant is big, the elephant is gray, the elephant walks for miles each day. His trunk is long and oh what fun when it comes out for cake or a bun. The elephant is big, his, his ears are wide, his back is broad for all to ride. The elephant is big, his ears are wide, his back is broad for all to ride. The elephant is big, he's kindly too, he carries the children round the zoo. Have you sat on the elephant? Well, if you go to uh, some zoo or some places, you may find elephants over there where the mahat, you know, takes you around on the back of the elephant. It's a beautiful experience. You can try it. Um, so, since elephant is a very beautiful animal, we have to take care of the elephants. We should not kill them, isn't it? So, this is part of our environment. Okay, this is the poem that we have read today. What I want you to do is practice this poem, read it again and again, and then memorize all the difficult words that might have come here. So take a pencil. I'm going to tell you the words and then you have to underline them. The first one is the elephant. Elephant, I think you must be knowing the spelling. Even then, you practice it once again. Elephant. Gray. Underline those words. Take a pencil. Elephant. Gray. Miles. Trunk. Then cake. I hope you know the spelling. Wide. Broad. Kindly. Carries. Children. Round. These are the words that I found may be difficult for you. If there are any other words that are difficult for you, you have to underline with your pencil and then practice them. Okay, uh, with this we come to the end of your poem. I shall come back to you with another lesson from another subject. Till then, you do take care of yourselves uh, and keep studying. Thank you.